Hey everybody, my name is Staley Sharpless and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Sane Audio. I recently had the chance to sit down and talk to two of my favorite YouTubers, Eric Striffler and Jacob Shaw of Pretty Much It. Pretty Much It does commentary for TV shows and movies and most recently wrapped up a nationwide tour called 13 Cities Why, where they watched the new season of the Netflix original drama 13 Reasons Why and did commentary for a live audience. I caught up with them right before their Chicago tour stop, and it was an absolute blast. Check it out. I know you're really going to love this interview, and stay tuned to the end to find out how you can stay in touch with both Pretty Much It and St. Audio. P.S. Go Tigers! So, hello, guys. Hello. How's it um, going? All right, so tell me a little bit, just like a brief summary of you two and what you do for our readers. Individually or together? Uh, both. <laughs> well, together, as pretty much it, we do uh, commentary tracks for your favorite and least favorite movies and TV shows. That's the very simple way that we put it. Um, and we release them weekly on Fridays on uh, on our website, pretty much it. We release movie commentary tracks every Friday, and then on Mondays uh, we release two episodes of a series commentary tracks, so a TV sh uh, show or series or whatever. Um, so that's what we do together. And then separately, uh, Jacob has another uh, YouTube venture. Sure, yeah. Um, I and the guy Eli, who you may have met briefly, mm -hmm. uh, and one other guy of a channel called More Than Enough, where we just make sketch comedy and stuff like that. That's more like my creative output that doesn't involve reacting to things. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I just graduated film school. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm freshly a part of the world. That's wonderful. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. What about you? What's what's your my separate thing? Um, yeah. I uh, I guess my my separate things are just on a personal level, uh, living and traveling in a van. Because that is just sort of like I feel it. It's, I feel like it's a project. It feels like a sort of like a, cre a personal creative project to me. Yeah. But then the other stuff is um, I love and I want to get back into once I'm kind of done with this little adventure. Um, uh, I love uh, creating live theater and and be that be it comedy or 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 horror or whatever. Um, uh, really love that, um, and I would love to get more into that. So planning to get more uh, kind of back into that world. Cool. Yeah. Well, if we have time, I do have questions for you about being a van man. Okay. So um, <laughs> I'm very curious about it. Um, okay, so out of your many commentary style tracks, so you've only done two musicals that I've seen. Um, Greatest, Greatest Showman. Showman, of course. And, and The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, that's right. Yeah, yes. That's right. It's easy so, to forget that's a musical. So. Yeah, I was actually yeah. thinking, I was like, what's the second one? Yeah, <laughs> right. It has burned into my brain. My sister, that was her favorite movie. She's younger. It was Yeah, my sister's time. favorite that as well. One, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, really? That, yeah. that one... <laughs> track in the wizard of Oz. which one is it the it one song for so long it's the one where all the uh, the munchkins are like we're getting into yeah, you'll be to history them. yeah that one yeah, yeah. for sure and it, it's like we welcome you to munchkin land yeah, that it, song goes on it does it's because it stops and so starts long. yeah, yeah. It's, on the track list that must include like all the vocal breaks yeah. so that made me wonder are there any challenges that you find when trying to do commentary for musicals um I, I for well for Wizard of Oz I don't think they sang along to any of it but I wasn't on that one Greatest Showman uh, I would say the only challenge was um, uh, getting tripped up with the words because we wanted to sing along to the whole thing mm -hmm. and uh, you know we didn't have any now when we do commentary tracks we have subtitles up the whole time so we can if we're talking over something we can sort of like register what's going on while we're doing some bit um, but for some reason for a long time we didn't do that <laughs> it took a stupid long time to think to do this which is like I'm I'm embarrassed um, and we didn't for that one and as much as we know the songs we were also doing the commentary so we kept forgetting like what part it was and stuff like that so I would say the biggest challenge is uh, trying to keep up with the words and also do bits because we don't want to just sing along yeah. we want to make fun of it and, and make jokes about it and stuff so I yeah. mean you do have a very nice voice so. oh thanks so much yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any musicals that you'd like to do in the future that you're thinking about I have a bunch Oh, yeah. hit me! Um, <laughs> I'm. I really want to do the Mamma Mia movies because I I really love those. That's but right. the thing is, I have to. I don't know anybody who like I would want to do a track with who also is a fan of those. I don't want to do them with someone who's not into them. I was gonna yeah. say there's two ways to do it. One is he sh the one we've talked about is that he shows it to me, but I don't know it, so I'm not gonna mm -hmm. be singing along. But I think it's much more fun to do a Greatest Showman style. 
And I mean, I guess I know enough of the songs because it's, they're not original songs. So I guess I know the songs in, in general, but I don't know the movie, so I wouldn't be as enthusiastic about it as with in Greatest Showman. Mm -hmm. So you want to yeah. find someone that knows it. Mamma Mia is something that's best approached enthusiastically. <laughs> the second yeah. you start getting skeptical. Yeah, if you're cynical at all, it, I can imagine. I've adventure. not seen either. I'm yeah. sure if you're cynical at um, all, you're not going to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I need someone, someone fun to do those with. Uh, my sister and I are also going to do some Veggie Tales ones. <gasps> oh my god! Those are those are musicals. Those I, are musicals. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Little mini musicals. Yeah. The one. Oh, keep keep walking. The one with so around the world. Walk. Mm -hmm. Keep walking. <laughs> but she isn't gonna fall. Hey man, don't give it all away for free. <laughs> uh, and uh, we do have plans to do uh, La La Land at some point because oh. we did Greatest Showman and ripped on La La Land. We got to flip it around and do La La Land. At some I point. think you should do like a trilogy because you could do Aladdin too because they did the music. Well, Aladdin would be fun. Oh, that's Aladdin, right. That's Aladdin right. Cool. You know, that's uh, the only Aladdin thing I've ever seen is the new Will Smith one. Isn't that wild? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I should turn this off. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, you need to just do Aladdin, just straight up. You gotta yeah. watch it. It's yeah. It's, it's really been a benefit <laughs> to pretty much it that I haven't seen anything. That's smart. Yeah. That's yeah. great. It has been interesting to like be able to show it to a fresh young man <laughs> some weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, because of that, we can tag every YouTube video like first, first time. time one. Yep. Yeah. And then people are like, "Wait a minute, Eric, you've seen this," and I'm like, "Title ain't about me, honey." <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. Now, picture this. Reed Hastings, CEO of Netflix. Of course. Calls you. It's urgent. Mm. He needs you to... Hello, Reed? <laughs> uh, hello, yes. I need the Reed, two of hello, you. are you there? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, bad connection. Go on. I need the two of you to adapt a, a movie into a musical from the Noah Centineo cinematic universe. <laughs> Which one should you pick? Which one would you do? And what style of music would it be? What's kind of the arc? Ready? Let's see what that's, we sound. Three, two, one. Ready? Let's do. Me, let's yeah. do three, two, one. Three, two, one. SPF to all the boys. 18. What? <laughs> <laughs> you think SPF eighteen? Yeah. I was. I was thinking for to sure. all the boys. I, I thought Sierra Burgess for a second, and then I was like, no, it's too mean. Speed. That movie sucks. That movie is insane. It's like straight up mean. It's yeah. bad. <laughs> like in that regard, it's just it's poorly put together. Yeah. To all the boys, I feel like I think it would be could fun work because there's um, multiple guys who maybe would sing in different yeah. styles. I'm picturing like a Scott Pilgrim almost kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, I see where you're going with that. I think the SPF eighteen would be like. Uh, the music would be in the style of like seventies porn music. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, I think so you would use the musicals to fill in all of the parts of the movie that clearly like cut away from something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? SPF eight to break. all the boys. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, that's that's okay. Um, I uh, that's okay. That's fine. Uh, I won't hold it against you. But I, uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that working. I think I, you know what. But I I think uh, I would like to see Reed. Reed, hello. Are you there still? Uh, yes. Uh, we've got an idea for you. How about both? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, All right. Bye, Reed. Love you. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess you don't love me. Bye. Uh, no, thank you. Reed Hastings. Reed what did you say? Lead listings? Reed, Reed Hastings? <laughs> you should have been Watch Hastings. That's fucking... Oh, wow. Okay, Curse. That's great, man. Wow, I curse. Wow. We're to bleep it. Thanks, man. <laughs> We're hitting each other. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> as far as anyone knows. Stop We're it, boys. Stop punching it. each other. <laughs> Get along. <laughs> Am I allowed to curse, by the way? Or is yeah. that going bleeped? Okay. No, no, no. All right. I mean, even if you bleep it, I was going to say, I should, I should know. <laughs> Uh, actually, we only say frick here. Oh, so. well, Heck frick. Yeah. What the frick? <laughs> Heck yeah. What the frick? Um, <laughs> okay, now, since we have talked about Greatest Showman, um, that brings to mind Hugh Jackman, who is both a very talented actor and singer. That makes as well me, as a family man. He is a family yeah. man, yes. He loves his wife. And a stunner wife. at that. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. And uh, he's... Uh, I don't he's know jacked. what else he is. Yeah, he's you can jacked. Say it. You can say it. We're all thinking it. <laughs> Renaissance Jack. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. God. <laughs> um, so it kind of it made me wonder, like, do you guys think that going from acting to singing or singing to acting is more difficult? And who is, like, someone that has managed a transition like that well? I would definitely say singing to acting is more difficult. I think singing is easier than acting. Yeah, I was going to say I feel yeah. the same way. I feel like I've said forever, and, you know, we've, we've talked about this before, I think one in two people can sing, probably. Maybe yeah. one in three mm -hmm. can sing well enough that you're not going to want to, you know, shoot yourself in the head. Um, it's also a, a learnable skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a more learnable skill than yeah. I... Acting is learnable, but over, I think, a longer period of time. Or that's what yeah, I think it's, at it's least. A, I think it's a more complex art form in yeah. and of itself. Mm -hmm. If I had to pick, it, like, uh, like okay, it's, it's New Year's, whatever, you know, you start, like, you have your resolutions, whatever. If I had to pick, like, I want to learn one of these, I would go, I would think singing I could probably figure out within a year or two more than acting, like, really acting. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I agree with him. Yeah. So yeah, singing to acting is probably easier. Yeah. yeah. I, 
Yeah, I agree. I, I think. Does that make I sense? Think, I think you guys nailed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah Sorry, sing, like singing to acting. Best. Yes, singing yeah. first then to acting. Yes, that's right. Okay. So, yeah. is there somebody that you think has like done that particularly well? Like this Eminem. Is, um, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's into, you, you know what? That's so kind of. But I feel like. Yeah. But I feel like rapping is acting in a way. That's yeah. like the, the there's performance to it, especially with sure, Eminem. Yeah. So here it is already a step there. I wonder if there's any straight up. Um, Beyonce, I guess, comes to mind because she's yeah. a pretty good actor. Mm -hmm. um, does Oprah sing? I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking of. <laughs> I guess, you just, <laughs> just ruled out Machine Gun sing. Kelly, I guess. Machine Gun Kelly. Oh my god, that Shut movie. Up, yeah, he's a, yeah. Uh, I, Lady Gaga comes to mind because of A Star Is Born, but I, I thought she was. I, I don't know that I thought she was like the, you know, phenomenal or anything like that. I thought it was fine. Yeah. Singing to acting. I feel like there's one that we can't think of that's that would be perfect. Rihanna, Battleship. Next. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> uh, everyone's favorite. Um, yes. I don't you think right? was really good. I mean, that people. is a good answer. That is a good answer. Yeah, because he's yeah. A, he's a he, but he has the acting gift as well. That is a good answer. But because he acts like a tough guy, but he's a comedian basically. I don't know. That is a good one though, because he is a good actor as well as a good a gifted singer. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, the idea of calling Eminem a gifted singer. I mean, uh, he's. Uh, Haley's song is yeah, very melodic. That's true. My band by D12. My yeah. band. Yeah. If that song <laughs> isn't a song, I don't know what it is. What's? Do you have any yeah. in mind? Because I feel like I feel like you must have come in with one in mind. Or no, I was thinking no. Justin Timberlake. That's a pretty good answer. That's a good answer. That's a pretty good answer because he. I really like him a lot. He plays kind of the same thing in every movie he does for the most part. But yeah. but that is a good one in a charismatic fashion. We have a couple yeah. of good ones. Yeah. I like that. Okay, we got a couple of good ones. I there. have sympathy for actors who play the same role in every movie. Yeah, The Rock has never varied his shtick at all, and I'll be there every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I you know what? Yeah, you know, it's the loyal fans like you that keep him going. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I you figured. Think Dwayne Johnson is thankful for me. <laughs> Every night he goes to bed really doubting himself. <laughs> he checks Twitter. <laughs> a thousand tweets for me. You got this big guy. You got this big guy. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Keep eating that salmon. <laughs> um, okay, so what's what's the selection process like when it does when it comes to choosing a movie to do commentary for? How do you pick? Um, I feel like when we first started doing it, it was a lot of what people requested mm -hmm. people in YouTube comments or where have you. And we've moved away from people's recommendations just because at this point we feel like we know what people want to see and we know what we want to do more importantly. I think that matters more. Yeah. yeah. What, we, what we think will work and what we want to do matters more because it'll end up coming out better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, there's a lot of things people want to see that I don't think they super don't bad. realize they don't want to see. Yeah, people people are requesting like, super bad or step, step brothers. Brother. And, it's like, and we're like, yeah, well, yeah, that's funny. But like, you just want to hear us like laugh at the jokes. Like we're not going to make jokes about yeah. their jokes. Yeah. It has yeah. to be like reasonably bad enough. Yeah. To, like, or good. Yeah, at least like kind of poppy. and Yeah. Like the Spider-Man movies are very fun. Right. Yeah. We like doing good movies. But there's like there's le less to pick apart in just like a gen a general comedy I, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, the other thing I would say that is very important is that the movie's not boring. Mm. That happens to us sometimes, and that's the most difficult thing is if the movie's boring. As long as it moves, yeah. did you? I don't know if you've seen the Kissing Booth. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that movie mm. moves. You know yeah. what I mean? And then you've got. Uh, to all the boys. To all the boys, but that that worked though. That really w that worked well, maybe because of Noah, but. That did not move. No so you're right. That got that tough binds toward the a end. A lot of trash together. That got tough toward the end. Yeah. So I would say not boring, and also something that is not just a, you know like a, a regular comedy with nothing else to it. Like even if it's a great comedy, like Anchorman, we'd be weird if we just watched Anchorman. Yeah. yeah so people want it though. Yeah, people ask for it, but uh, yeah, we've uh, we've leaned away from that. And also, the other thing I'll say is, we we now that we have uh, like a wider library of things we've already done, mm -hmm. we love to watch things that connect. So I don't know if you've seen our Stranger Things uh, videos or heard the tracks, but of so yes. the Hellboy bit, we had no, we would never have had a plan to do Hellboy, but now we have to do Hellboy at yeah. some point, of course. But we'll make it a Stranger Things crossover. So I really love the idea of like building worlds. On things that don't exist. Uh, that's really fun. So now we're sort yeah. of just expanding things that we've done already. When we watch a Noah movie, we're expanding the on the Noah cinematic universe, the mm -hmm. NCU. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so I, I think uh, those are a couple of the, of the things that we think about, yeah, for sure. Have you ever had to scrap a commentary? Have you ever been watching something that's just totally like not been working? We have never scrapped a commentary because everything we've done is available either like on Patreon or our shop or wherever. Everything but we've ever recorded is available. It has been yeah. released, I should say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's a handful of things we didn't make YouTube videos out of. Oh, yes. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Like, yes, uh, oh, that's yeah. a good point. We did Swiss Army Man, which is a movie that we both love. But did um, Cry Wolf, one of my favorite movies. Yeah. That didn't get... We did um, the Happy Happy Valentine's Day, maybe, or something like that. I forget like what it was called. One? There was a Ben Schwartz yeah. Netflix movie that was real cute. And the thing is, like, halfway through some of these movies, we realized, like, you know what? We're kind of just... 
enjoying this and having fun. It's not going to make it's it makes for a fun track, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make for a very uh, marketable video on YouTube. And so and that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens sometimes. Yeah, that's interesting. There's that's... times when we've lost commentary tracks. Oh. So that has happened like um the Scooby Doo oh, one right. track. Half of that. Halfway through uh, our primary recording system pooped out on us. So yep. we had to use the backup audio. Spider-Man won one of three mics crapped out, so yeah. that was the whole movie. The <sighs> me and Eli and Gabe were doing that track and Gabe's mic was like fizzling in and out the whole time. So we spliced in backup audio through and it's you, you can you can tell. <laughs> it works. <laughs> It works, but uh, his uh, voice definitely has a different timbre for half of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, prior to the only other interesting tidbit in this in, in this uh, sort of topic uh, on this topic is uh, prior to Jacob and I recording tracks together I, for from 2013 uh, up until him, I was doing commentary tracks with a different lineup, mm -hmm. and those commentary tracks there was one that we flat out lost the audio for that never saw the light of day, so we just recorded it and it went and that was it for the movie Doom. Speaking of the Rock. Oh. Yeah, so that was, um, that, that, like, whenever I see The Rock, I kind of twitch a little bit. And I'm like, I'll never you. forget that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's still tweeting at Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No Rock. <laughs> no Rock. No rock. <laughs> this is an yes. anti-rock zone. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's very interesting. I mean, I feel like sometimes maybe, like, if I was watching something and trying to, like, make jokes and the jokes just weren't popping off, like, I mean, not that your jokes, your jokes always pop off, you know what I mean? But, like, they, they don't, don't always, like, they don't always, yeah. that's not <laughs> true. Doing, doing, doing commentary tracks live is fun because the audience lets you know when they're not working. Yeah, yeah. are you, you sticking around for the show tonight? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great, so you'll see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, there's we definitely have some jokes that don't land and then we yeah. laugh because it's, it's funnier to us if they don't land because it's, like, a little bit cringy and Eric hilarious. always has my back laughing at my jokes because they don't land. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, if we, if one of us makes a joke and the audience does not laugh we will definitely like catch eyes and just like crack up alone to ourselves <laughs> yeah. like get rid of the mic for a second yeah oh my god yeah i'm excited to see it yes yeah, it should be you'll, fun. you'll see a couple of those moments oh, yeah. when we record tracks by ourselves often like, there's no we'll, laughter or any joke there's no laugh yeah <laughs> from anyone except yeah. for us so like there may be a bit that we both really like but we don't know we're the only two people in the world who find it funny yeah oh. and so we'll go hard on it and then that won't be a joke that pops off at all whereas right. doing it in front of an audience like they nip it right in the bud, and we're like, okay. Yeah. Got it. That's, I hear. <laughs> that Immediate like, feedback. It ha so this is, I think, to my knowledge, it's the first time you two have toured together. Yes. Right? Yes. So with that being said, has this experience touring, like, do you feel like there's things you've learned while, like, doing commentary, like, or while planning the tour or whatever, like, anything that you would take back and use for the next tour that you have? No, I think it was like, perfect. Next. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say a big yes to all of the above. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, he planned the whole thing, by the way. Jacob planned the whole tour himself. He, he produced it uh, and put it all together, everything. Um, so I'm sure you learned a lot from the planning side. Tons. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. uh, I'm just a boy. <laughs> you know? Just a wee lad. Yeah. I, I went to school for film directing. I don't know how to produce a tour. <laughs> so all I, that said, though, we are here. We, we're mm -hmm. here. Yep. Yeah. So I, I did my best guesstimate, and yep. uh, unbelievably, it has worked out in that we have done a show every time planned. And yeah, we've gotten from place to place. It's a big deal. Anything that yeah. we think, anything that we think has gone wrong, on the in the grand scheme of things, we made it. We've made it to. I mean, you know, knock on wood, but we've made it to every single show. Gotten the recordings. You know, all this, everything has worked out fine. Yeah. You'd never know there were any if there were any issues. You know, mm -hmm. from the outside. Um, so anything like anything that's in our minds right now is like, man, we really screwed that up. We got to fix that next time. Like it's it's a tiny little nothing detail, yeah. really, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I would imagine like just like logistically, you know, it's like a trial by fire type of thing. Absolutely. Like, Serious fire, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I this do. is the best way to learn something, though, in my opinion. Learn by doing is how I've yeah. done everything, so I think that's fine. Absolutely. I have a big running list in my notes app of like every mistake that we've made and how to make it better next time. Yep. So also, what has it been like, you know, finally getting to meet and like interact with fans too? Like, how has that been? It's uh, it's amazing. It's yeah. uh, most, I think most tours like this do the meet and greet first because they're exhausted after the show. Our show is not that strenuous. We put the meet and greet yeah. after, and it's yep. a really fun, positive way to end the night. Actually, absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say the the night ends on a on a, a major high, and uh, yeah, I, I imagine like someone like you know like uh, someone that's singing and dancing for an hour and a half or something like that. Yeah, you're going to be exhausted after the show. We're fun, we're not physically exhausted, so it's, it works that way. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's been crazy. It's crazy to see the similarities and differences between cities. Like some things are exactly the same everywhere we go. In not, not exactly the same, but like we we see. 
uh, similar patterns, uh, you know, in in the crowd, whatever, everywhere we go, and like how they react to things, and then uh, but during the show and and during the meet and greet, and then in some places, it's like I would say, I would say Seattle was the was completely different than any city we've been to in terms of the audience at being during the show and the meet and greet. Yeah. I, I don't know why I can't put my finger on it, but Seattle, we had a Seattle show, and for some reason, it just like it stood out very, very uh, uniquely. Oh, huh. yeah. Some cities are way more pro Bryce than others. Really? We have found because Eric. How about I, way less anti Bryce? Less anti. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say we've seen any pro Bryce. Uh, pro Bryce. Yeah, less <laughs> anti Bryce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More people on the fence. Nobody's. I wouldn't say anybody's on the pro side. But yeah. I know Eric, what you mean. Eric and I share an anti Bryce agenda. We're rooting well, for his death. Yeah, and, I am too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I appreciate you saying so. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> some cities have been a little more lukewarm on. Uh, Watching him die, but yeah, like the writers, the writers got to him is what we're trying to say. The writers of season of, of or at least of season some three. Of, some of these people have been duped. Yeah, they've been duped. Yeah. They've they've been the writers been really working it. Yeah, yeah. And they're doing the best they can, but to no avail. No, no, exactly. <laughs> no price. I like the idea that it's a it's a challenge. <laughs> and that isn't it that. And I will say, for what it's worth, it's a really interesting challenge. Like if they looked at it as a challenge of like making you sympathize with the villain, essentially of the show. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting. It is an interesting exercise. <laughs> and I look. I applaud them for trying to do it, but I don't like as from a creative standpoint. But I don't like from a moral standpoint. It's a little confusing. So yeah, (laughs) yeah, it definitely went. It went in. It's going into like some Pretty Little Liars territory. Writing like a writing exercise that would be interesting. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Shout out Pretty Little Liars. Love, love those little liars. Pretty Little Tigers. <laughs> oh, I watched that show for you. Me and my sister would, like, every Thursday night growing up, watch that and Glee back to back. Oh. Which is so weird because those aired on Wednesdays. They waited the whole next day to watch it. We had wow. school on Wednesdays. <laughs> was it actually, I'm just kidding, was it actually on Wednesdays? Did I actually? I think I don't remember, but I we didn't watch it. I think it, it was You didn't Wednesdays. actually watch it? Oh, I was making we, a joke. We didn't, we didn't watch it on the day that it came out. Gotcha. Oh so my I was God. right. We, we were homeschooled and we went to a homeschool around. co-op two days a week. Uh-huh. So we had to wait till a non on co-op day to watch Glee slash Pretty Little Liars. That's funny. So my joke. So you're listening to me like, yes, correct, Eric. I'm yeah, not, like I'm not making a joke. Serious. It's just correct. <laughs> you're right. I uh, I actually met the Glee cast. I was a pretty the big glass. The glass. So then you might have met Bryce because wasn't he on the show? Uh, I didn't. Glee played a Glee played. Bryce played somebody's boyfriend. <laughs> I didn't meet him, Dang. but I met. Uh, I, somebody mentioned that to us. <laughs> met Mark Zelling, so that's pretty dark. Ooh, sorry to oh. hear yeah. that. <laughs> That's a real life yeah. Bryce kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The real the Bryce care actor in real life is a sweetheart. It seems. Yeah. yeah, so that's. I'm yeah. so happy that all the drama, like the real life drama on the show, happened after I stopped watching. Yeah, because right? I can't imagine how heartbroken I would be if all those things happened oh. while I was still watching. It was. A, it's a dark, dark, is Mark dark dead? couple of years. Huh? Is Mark Sterling dead? He's dead. Corey Monteith is dead. Well, I know. I know Corey Monteith yeah. passed away, but man, Mark Sterling's dead, right? Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The Glee curse. It truly. Everyone Seriously. turned out to yeah. be a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not that Corey Monteith is a pedophile. I'm yeah. Just kidding, of course. No. No. That that's, was very sad. Oh yeah. That's, that was rough. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Hey. All right. All right. To a real one. Yeah. True. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Literally now, a real man. Yeah. <laughs> a real one. A real boy. <laughs> No a one can boy. take that away from him. He did exist. That's what that Geppetto said, R.I.P. to my real boy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, I'm going to get into your music taste. Um, so I know you tend to lean more towards the indie rock. You're into, like, Maggie, 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 Maggie Magi Rogers. Rogers, the gift of the Magi Rogers, yeah. Love Maggie and, Rogers, yeah. And East, which I just listened to East. Oh, hell yeah. yeah for the first yep, time yep. today. Wonderful. And I know you love Lil Pump. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little pump apologist. Yeah. I honestly, be like me is a banger. Be that's, like that's me, Ashkeda, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, he is pump? the Ashkeda man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Lil Wayne. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Lil Wayne goes super hard on oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Uh, like tycoons, I mean, I gonna, my head's swirling. <laughs> um, I do think that he peaked with his self-titled though. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Lil, it's called Lil Pump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's called self titled. <laughs> I, I know some that have an album called self titled. Uh, the the punk energy was so raw. I think he's lost it a little bit. He's just, like disappeared. It's crazy. Like he sure dropped that after album. I love it. He kind of <laughs> he was floated away. I'm out. Huh. The album made no waves. <laughs> no, it really I felt didn't. bad for him. Yeah, it, it was yeah, it was kind of rough. It was we saw him at Lollapalooza last year, and well, partially because they kept having to stop a set, and eventually they just shut the whole thing down. Really? Why did they keep stopping it? Teens, man. The teens were going wild. They oh. were like, they were so like, they were moshing so hard. People were passing out because oh, they were, like pressed against the barrier. Dude, if there's anyone to mosh that hard to, it's my man Gazzy. 
Oh, yeah. I don't know Gazzy. Gazzy Garcia, a.k.a. Little Pump. Oh! oh there you go. I had no idea what he was talking about. Gazzy <laughs> is a this cooler name you right now. <laughs> It is kind of, yeah. It's it is weird that you brought a wrench, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> brought Eric's glasses. It's going to be torture. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> you were surrounded by construction equipment. By <laughs> and the wig. I said, I said Honestly, Eric. Honestly, the no, wig. Yeah. <laughs> My wig is gone. Um, <laughs> Consider it snatched, sis. <laughs> okay, so I'm um, okay. I know words. Um, all right. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, with your music taste being considered, if you had your life story adapted into a movie, what three songs have to be on the soundtrack? Wow, um, that's a good question. Block party, always new depths. Um. The main drag, jagged gorgeous winner, and uh, I wish you could see the face that Eric's making. Right now. Yeah, because uh, I also do have to use the bathroom. No, I'm just <laughs> um, I, that's that's not me thinking. That's oh, stand um, and stand by me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll go take on me. How about that? Oh, take on me. Wait, like, aha. Aha. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> My, I just remembered. Your mind. Yeah, I'll go with that. Very powerful. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, what about you? That's so tough. Because I'm trying to think, is it, should I go with songs I like or songs that define? Those, the songs I picked, besides Take On Me is just yeah. a song I really like, but the first two songs I picked I feel like are like what it sounds like inside of me. So, there you go. Mm. <laughs> I would have thought it would be like a heartbeat is what it would sound Wrong. like inside Wrong. Nope. Childish Gambino's great, but we're not going. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Deep cut. <laughs> I'm going to do three songs. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'll I would hope you the, would. Uh, <laughs> the the holy trinity of Lil Yachty songs. Okay. You Bro- know them. He broccoli. doesn't need to. <laughs> Probably broccoli. broccoli. Dan Bilzerian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know these songs? I know broccoli. Okay. I don't, I don't okay. know. I don't know these with the depth that you. Dan Bilzerian is just broccoli too. Oh. Okay. Okay. What's okay. the What's the uh, last one? Let's see. I guess uh, this one is not nearly as good as the others, but it fits them thematically. So, mm-hmm. what's the one he did with Macklemore? Oh, uh, you are Thrift asking shop. the wrong person. Yeah. Thrift shop. <laughs> Thrift shop. Yeah, there's a song he has with Macklemore that sounds just like the others. Mm-hmm. And I'm picturing this to be a 15 minute short film that's just Lil Yachty songs. That sounds amazing. So, I'll put that one in there too. Okay. Yeah. Is it shot in black and white, kind of like a French film? Like yes. One of those, one of those French yes. films? And we'll, <laughs> <laughs> what accent was that? Uh, yeah, that <laughs> was a French accent. <laughs> those French films. Uh, I do think that, uh, yeah, all the dialogue will be in French mm-hmm. and perhaps. French covers of the songs. Wow. Mm-hmm. Broccoli. <laughs> oh. Broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> oh, I hate that. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of phlegm. I'm changing oh. my last song to Faster by Danger Radio. Okay. And that's it. It's the final answer. Faster? That was by close Danger. to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They almost went with Just so that, so that they're all they're all the same type of feeling. Cool. I'm yeah. excited to listen. I'm going to put a little, little playlist. <laughs> oh my God, of my life. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Now, I, now I want to figure out what the, that song is called. you got to figure it <laughs> out. i got to get to the bottom of this. you got to know. For... I don't feel that bad for not knowing Macklemore's Lil Yachty song. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you could just look up Lil Yachty Macklemore You should feel right extremely now. bad. Was Lil Yachty the one that had the Target commercial? Probably. Yeah. Yes, and right. Why don't you make that? The commercial slapped so It was awesome. Hard. You guys Why know don't more about that? this than I do. You've that could like, be the song. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Marmalade. Oh, mar- okay. <laughs> oh, it wasn't Macklemore. It was Marmalade. Oh. Marmalade and Liliati. But what was the title you were supposed to make Macklemore. <laughs> yeah, their song, Macklemore. <laughs> oh, my God. I will say, Liliati is a, he's a smart man. Have you seen Liliati's Twitter? I have seen Liliati's Twitter. The man needs to be protected at all costs. He does, he, yes. He, he's out here spilling feelings on Twitter. And my heart aches for my man. <laughs> my man's. He's a my sweet man's. baby boy. He's such a sweet baby How old is he? boy. I don't. I have no. Oh, oh, 40, oh. 40, 45. 45? Yeah. <laughs> He's forty. Forty-five. He's forty. Just 45. turned twenty-two three days before I did. Wow. Very good. Oh my god, yeah. Virgo twins, love it. Virgo twins, <laughs> Lil Jakey at Lil Yachty. Ew. Oh, oh yeah, right. That's the film. This French. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> ha ha ha. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, That's the title of my movie. Yeah. Oh. 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 How do you spell that? H U G H H U G H with a dash in the middle. Oh. Hugh Hugh. Oh no! God. I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh lord! Oh, I can't wait to see your first movie, Hugh Hugh. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, so 
you are a, a bit of a rap expert. So when did you discover you could freestyle? And when did you discover you could beatbox? What's, I can't. You, what I do you is the can same do it thing. Than me. I literally do the exact same beat every single time. There's you nothing new about me it. Beatbox? Yes, please. <laughs> like if you kept doing that over and over, though, he could do it. <laughs> you sound like you work at a library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that Dewey Decimal System type beat. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's such a. A flattering question that neither of us deserve. <laughs> yeah, it's I will true. say when I was in high school, I I had a period of I, this was probably all during sophomore year where I was trying to figure out like what my main skill is, mm-hmm. and I went through a million. I did like Rubik's cube, and I did like magic tricks, and I went through every dorky phase you could go through and mm-hmm. one of them was freestyling mm-hmm. and I tried to I got a book on it <laughs> you know and what? I tried to like get to the bottom of it uh, and it it never worked out. It's it's easier when you're saying nonsense. Yeah. But I was like trying to like tell my story. Oh, via freestyle. Do yeah. you God. are there recordings of that somewhere? Um <laughs> Almost For the purposes of this conversation, not. no. Yeah. yeah, no. No, I don't know what you're talking about. There's, yeah, what there are recordings of is a lot of mega fuckboy recordings of me singing songs on my guitar to girls when I was like 15, and I record them on like my flip phone, so yes. the quality is like, here comes the sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I will, I'll trade you my very embarrassing teen videos for your very embarrassing teen deal. videos. Deal. Deal, yeah. Don't teen vids for teen vids. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, Epstein. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Uh, this is a leaked email between my Donald, my Jessica Trump, and Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Not to get political, but they're creeps. Uh, what? Anyway. <laughs> It's less political, more more just personal, but Wow, wow, really anti Bryce here over here. You? <laughs> I listen, I wanna tell you. <laughs> more or less. Uh, <laughs> I you know, I've never I've never thought of it this way, but I don't have any personal beef with Donald Trump. Okay. He has never done anything to me directly. <laughs> professional beef? Fair enough. I would say, yeah, I think I do have professional <laughs> beef with him and that you could make the argument that we have worked in the same field. I don't want to ask what that is. <laughs> <laughs> We've both been Government. judges on The Apprentice. Yeah. Government. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Government. Uh, this is a question primarily directed to you. Uh, how do you get your hair so good? No. Um, uh, my mom. Real, yeah. real answer, my mom. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I did kind of wonder that, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't do anything to it. For, for real, I, I literally just... My mom gave me great hair. Wow. Like, and I say, when I say great hair, I don't style it, so it's not a thing... It's not my thing. It's her genes. You know what I mean? So I don't do anything to it, but she just gave me hair that I can work with. Your mom doesn't do your hair? No. <laughs> you no, know, she doesn't. Not anymore. It's been a, it's been a year or two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, pretty much it has been your project for a really long time, which is really cool. Um, and I know that you guys used to do music reviews in mm-hmm. your in your review shows. So Mm -hmm. what similarities do you find between reviewing movies and reviewing music, if any? Um, If there's a story to an out to a, like there could be like, you know, like a through line to an album, a concept Mm -hmm. album, something like that. So that's, that's that, I guess that's one connection there. Uh, And then just like, you know, you feel emotions the same way. I would say listening to music as you do watching a movie. So I would say those are the similarities. And, uh, but I, I, I reviewed some music myself and then also my buddy, Kevin, who will uh, be at the Chicago show. Um, I uh, did a lot of music reviewing, and uh, and I've, I he looked at it a little more analytically. I feel like than I than I ever did. So I guess there's different ways you could look at it. Yeah, cool. I don't envy people who have to review music because I feel like very broad. music is so much more subjective than movies are. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like you can kind of say whether or not a movie is good in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like there, there's more I objective like, things. Yeah, I feel, yeah probably about music. Movies. For me, at least, is so preference based that like half the music I listen to, I know is trash, <laughs> and then like. Yeah, there's so much great music that I listen to, and it sounds like background coffee shop music to me. Yeah, but that's the thing. I think that music, great music, is whatever you think great music is, you know? And that's why I can never be a reviewer, because, <laughs> like, you know how Anthony Fantano has, like, famous contrarian reviews, but there's yeah. just one or two? Every single review of mine, people would be like, what is this? So you can't build credibility like that. You have to just have one or, or two. Or you could, because they could be like, what has this guy seen that we're not? Right, right, yeah. right. This guy's 4D on chess. another yeah. dimension. He's like yeah. the Donald Trump of music reviews. You know, I've always said that about myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I like, I've done both. And like, I, for me, I found that movie reviewing got to be kind of overwhelming just because like, it's so much more time. An album mm, is sure. 25 to 30 minutes. You can listen to it two, three times in sure. the time it takes to watch a movie. Yeah. 
and like I don't know. I, I also I get a little I get a little riled up sometimes during movies more so than music. But that's interesting. Yeah. I feel like it always takes me like three weeks of listening to an album before I can even hear it. Mm-hmm. Like when I listen to an album the first time, it sounds like nothing to me. I hate every <laughs> album I've ever heard the first time because I'm like, what was that? Every song blends together and yeah. I get like exhausted by the end of it. It is hard. Yeah, it's definitely like active listening is really like, I don't know. It's 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 a skill that I'm still working on to this day. <laughs> um, um Let's see. Oh, I guess I have one more question for you guys. Um, okay. So, this is a speed round. Oh, nice. Great. This so. is when we accidentally say something really fucked up. Can't wait. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm fine with it. Um, Just grab the phone and run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crack that phone. You're picking out the original soundtrack, like the official song for each movie genre that I say what the song title is and who performs the song. Wait, an actual song? No, just make one up. Whatever oh. your heart desires. That was not clear. I'm sorry. Okay, so make up a song title and pick, pick an artist. Yes. A real artist. Okay. Based on the movie genres I give you. Okay. Is gonna go back be, and forth? Will this be back and forth? <laughs> yeah, let's do back and forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, can go, you can go first. Yeah. Unless I have something, I guess, if, if you don't have anything, good. Yeah, we can go back and forth. We yeah. po- uh, or we could point to each other if we can't think of anything or something, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Anime that may or may not be hentai. <laughs> <laughs> How about... Uh, uh, Confusing Boner by B.O.B. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear it. Uh, I'm oh confused. My... Don't know what to do. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> Featuring Rivers Cuomo. Uh, there you go. I like it. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Perfect. Amazing. Um, Netflix teen movies that may or may not be porn. How about... Uh, <laughs> confusing Boner by B.O.B. <laughs> uh, confusing Boner. How about... Um, in parentheses, N, and then SFW outside of that by um, Cardi B. Amazing. That's probably like a real song, yeah. honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. What about an extremely gore- gory horror movie? Ooh. How about uh, Help, Help, Claw My Eyeballs Out <laughs> by Jacob Shell? <laughs> <laughs> the artist formerly known as Jacob Shell. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Hugh. <laughs> Hugh Hugh indeed. <laughs> um, okay. Vine star comedies. Vine star comedies? <laughs> yeah. Um, a whole genre? <laughs> holy crap, that is a whole genre. Uh, how about, let me think, the title for the, the, yeah, the Vine star comedy song would be um, How Did I Get Here by uh, uh, Catch Me Outside Girl. <laughs> <laughs> like Bad Baby? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she did release the song earlier this year. Uh-huh. It was pretty, pretty nice. Oh, I didn't I hear mean, that. Shout out Lil Yachty again. Have oh. you heard her song? No. With, with him? Oh. It's, wow. It slaps. We got a real Yachty head over here. <laughs> a Yachty <laughs> head. <laughs> a yachter. Yeah. Not, not a Yachty. Uh, <laughs> that's not right. That doesn't work. It's not you, a thing. You ought to be a Yachty. Oh. Yeah. I was going to try to come up with a rhyme. This is why I'm not a rapper. (laughs) This is why I am a rapper. I'm announcing right now my career (laughs) shift to rap. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, Okay. Action movies for children. (laughs) (laughs) It's a genre that needs to exist better. That's like the pacifier. Yeah. I was thinking like Spy Kids. Or Spy Kids, I guess, too. Okay. How about uh, uh, Water Guns by (laughs) Jesse McCartney? Oh. Whoa, wow, Jesse, Jesse McCartney. Oh my wow. god, beautiful soul. I love it. Yes. Very good. Oh, we love it. I don't know Jesse. how you even know who Jesse McCartney is. <laughs> he was homeschooled. Uh, yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> I, I was homeschooled for a brief period too, so. For how long? Can't really. Uh, oh, like four years, so. That's no brief period. <laughs> That's no brief period. That's all of high school. That's how yeah. it turned out so normal. Wait, yeah, uh, and all of college. Yeah. That's a <laughs> nor year period, was it? <laughs> yeah, uh. Fourth grade to eighth grade, and I went back to public school. So middle school, grade. largely okay. developmental years. Yeah, yeah that's mm-hmm. a real shock to go yeah. to public school. I too school. was homeschooled during those years oh and all God. years. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about college? What did you? I mean, you went to like college. I did, that was the first time I had ever attended a real institution. Was it weird to like be in that kind of setting? It no. Well, film school and art school in particular in New York City is such a weird thing anyway Mm -hmm. that I feel like I couldn't really even process the weirdness of just it being school yeah the my first day of class a girl wore just bubble wrap well yeah that is uh 
She sounds crunchy. <laughs> Imagine her tripping down the stairs. I, I've been imagining it since you said that. <laughs> she would be really protected, though. That's true. She'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her yeah, bones? The sounds, not broken. That's music. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Last, last genre. Superhero Super. movies. You want to do it? Do you want to yeah, do it together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, okay. Superhero movies that may or may not involve molestation. That's not what my butt's for. <laughs> By Kevin Spacey. Oh, no. Uh, Who says he can't sing? <laughs> oh, my I'm God. sure he can. Yeah, I'm sh- I, I would imagine that he probably went from acting to singing. Yeah. He definitely seems like the kind of actor where you'd be like, wait, he has a band? Yeah. Right, yeah, absolutely, 100%. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> What's playing with Johnny Depp? Wasn't he in that? No, it was Kevin Klein, wasn't it? De Lovely. I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know. you I should know. You're the movie. Guy. I know Kevin Klein. I don't know the uh, band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for talking with me. This has been so much fun. Well, thanks so much for having us. Um, De Lovely. Yeah. And uh, would you like to plug anything or close out in any special way? Or? Just the leaky faucet behind you that's been driving me nuts yeah. this whole time. Or maybe your phone. It's been working overtime. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. Uh, amazing. Okay. Well, <laughs> our tour is over, yeah. so there's not really anything to plug. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to our interview with Pretty Much It. You can find them on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash pretty much it. You can find us at sanaudio.com or connect with us on Instagram and Twitter at sanaudio. You can follow me, Staley Sharpless, on Twitter at stalesmigales with three S's at the end. Thanks for listening, and we'll be back again soon.